Hello friends, this is Red Unicorn playing RimWorld with a quick guide on how to deal with prison breaks. Mind you, this is not a guide on how to store, uh, keep your prisoners, sorry, but it's a guide on what to do if they go on a prison break. So who hasn't had this before? You have a prisoner who you would really like to recruit because they have great traits. They maybe have the exact one skill that you really need and they're just, they're just amazing. So you really, really want them and you really, really do not want them to lose any limbs or their life if they decide that eh, they're not quite ready to join you. There is one way to completely prevent prison breaks. Um, I will put this at the end of the video and put a timestamp in, but if you want to play the game as intended, I'd suggest you just keep watching. Now there are ways to deal with prison breaks that reduce the chance to injure or even kill uh, prisoners. And um, of course they work best the less prisoners you have and the further you keep them away. But um, normally if a prison break happens, uh, well, this is what happens. So I'm just gonna start a prison break in death mode because, well, I'm not sitting around here waiting for that to happen on its own. A prison break. All, all three of them. And sometimes you're really unlucky and one of your pawns um, is actually in the same cell as a prisoner. Good luck to Hawkins. So what do you normally do? You gather everybody who's close and you tell them to please come here because, well, there's a prison break. Hawkins is making it out. That's, that's good. You try to keep them in the doorways and people start shooting. And bam, Hawkins gets in, hit in the head because, uh, well, you have everybody set to automatically attack and yeah, people shoot from far away. So Hawkins got uh, shot by the heavy SMG. Lion is dead. Trout um, just got his right lung destroyed and a lot of injuries. And Stinkbug here, um, yeah, he, is, he has no permanent injuries. But yeah, that's how prison breaks usually are. Quite messy. Okay, so let's do this again. Start a prison break, please. Lion and Trout are breaking out. So what you want to do is take Hawkins because he's just there and tell him to go here and then you want him to drop his weapon and then he needs to go back here. Why does he need to drop his weapon? Because the fist is actually the weapon that does the least amount of damage and that is what you need if you don't want to permanently injure or kill your prisoners. And what you also want to do is set everybody else to ignore because that way you prevent friendly fire from anybody who's walking through. And then we collect Barbie here. I'm sorry for, to interrupt your f meal and put him here. If you have tough pawn, it's great, but just pick the pawns that are the closest. Otherwise, your prisoners will pr probably be f out faster. You want to try to get them at a choke point where you can gang up on them three on one. Yes, you're mean this way in order to try to reduce the amount of damage your own pawns are going to take. Make sure to have backups as if it's more than one prisoner breaking out. Um, just in case we're going to put some people as backup. Who's close? Raven, yeah. Drop this, drop this, drop the grenades, please. Yeah. You want people to be close by, just in case one of your pawns will go down. Again, they might go down, but they will probably not die, you know, or lose any limbs. And this is our goal, because we want to keep those. They are amazing pawns. So let's start moving. One more thing. If you have pawns uh, and prisoners with good gear, you might want to strip them, because if you try to beat up a person in a flag vest with your, with your bare fists, that might go badly. So Trout is here first. Let's check out Trout's health. Nobody else. Burgess is just walking by. Normally she would stop and shoot if you have to have her set to attack. Um, so make sure she's not. And then let's check out how we're doing here. You three, please melee attack Trout. 
course they will hit back, but yeah. Trout is down and they actually have no permanent injuries. They're just a lot of cracks and bruises, not even a bleeding wound, which is good because that might lead to infections, which you also don't want. Now the only tricky thing is um, that you can't really de distinguish between trout and lion here because they might attack the wrong one now. So what you might want to do then is make Barbie move one over to be able to have three people attack Mr. Lion here. So Lion went down. So let's check out uh, Trout here who was fine except for bruises and cracks. Lion here who was also fine except for bruises and cracks and Barbie the same. So. This was a prison break without any permanent injuries or death. It's a little more micromanagement, so if that's not for you, fine, deal with it however you want. But I think this works really well. Now, as promised, there's one way how you can prevent prison breaks completely. Put some prison... Put some sleeping spots in a place where you want to keep your prisoners. Make those three beds normal beds. Have your people take the other prisoners to the sleeping spots. Now, this is a prison, this whole room here. If you can look at this, now it's a prison barracks, which means they are free to move in all areas that are highlighted like this. That is because I have left this one big room without any doors. And their prison break interval now, as it says in the prison tab, is not while asleep. Okay, fine. 45 days and 45 days. And what you're doing now is deconstruct those sleeping spots. Now let's check this out. Prison break interval. Never. Well, never and never. Um, your prisoners will not leave the premises as long as there are no open doors to the outside. You have to keep that in mind. In order for that to work, they have to be mobile. So as long as they are incapable of walking, your pawns will not feed them and they're just lying on the floor. Without any beds, your pawns will not feed them, nor will they treat injuries. So this only works if they are, if you have prisoners that are capable of walking. Second thing you have to keep in mind is they will not be fed by your pawns anymore. They will feed themselves. So make sure you put food in an area that is reachable by the prisoners. Maybe put a shelf down and put meals on the shelf or put down a nutrient paste dispenser if you think they can deal with the negatives from, well, from a bad meal. You can have weapons lying around. They won't care. They won't pick them up because, well, they are not um, going to break out. And last, I always put them in a place where I have a table and they can sit down to eat something. What your pawns will do is still um, do whatever you tell them to do here, like convert, recruit. They will do the social interactions. But um, other than that, yeah, they think they're just on a vacation or something. They don't care. They don't feel like they're prisoners. They won't run away. Do bear in mind that they will have mental breaks if they are not happy. This is a way to prevent prison breaks from ever happening. If you don't mind. Well, is it cheating? I'm not one to judge. So friends, this was my guide on how to deal with prison breaks. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, comment or a subscription. And then I thank you for watching and bye.